everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Old Style Angling Podcast. I hope everybody had a good week and got out fishing. The weather has been pretty beautiful across the state throughout the last week, and uh, I know I was able to get out some over the weekend and last week, and the fishing's picked up pretty well for me and uh, for others I've seen. I know over on the uh, on the east side of the state, I've seen a lot of pictures uh, coming in on the social media of people catching salmon along the uh, along the harbors. Um, obviously, out a little bit from the harbors and boats. A lot of people jigging for them out there, so that's exciting um, to see that bite start to pick up some. And over on this side, over here on the on the western side of the state. Out on the Mississippi, we were uh, catching some panfish yesterday, and um, and there was a bass tournament that just finished up here, a, uh, a major league fishing tournament, and it looks like they caught all kinds of fish, and um, looks like there a lot of people were fishing buzz baits, which which was the uh, hot bait, I guess you could say, from uh, from watching the the videos of the tournament. And, and lots of guys were using buzz baits and just catching them one after another. So that was pretty cool to see um, a lot of guys using those buzz baits and, and doing well on top water around rip wrap and whatnot for smallmouth and largemouth. So the top water bite, I know we talked about that a couple of weeks, weeks ago, was, uh, was really hot over the last week here. So, so that was pretty cool to see. But this week, uh, what we wanted to talk about was something that... Um, I actually I've completely reversed my view on in the last couple of years and that's fishing um, around the lunar cycle or around the moon phases and, uh, and and to be more specific fishing for muskies around the around the lunar cycle and and what I mean by I've completely reversed my my uh, perception or my view of this when when I uh, started muskie fishing a lot more I was not a believer in this because when you look into this, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, the data you find is just word of mouth data or people you know talking about something. And like I said last week, I I always like to have a reason for something I'm something I'm doing and and uh, to have a scientific reason for something I'm doing when it comes to fishing. And this is something where there's not that much scientific data to support it, but as you um, as you fish for muskies more and you start to look at this lunar cycle, you'll start to see that your bites are really going to start following that, following the moon phase and your peak fishing times are going to center around that moon phase. And so as I, as I got more experiences fishing the moon phase and just finding the fish were, were more active around this, I became more of a believer in it and uh, started following the phases a little bit more timing my fishing around them as well definitely changed my changed the game for me but like i said before there is not a whole lot of scientific data to support why the moon cycles affect the fish and and affect the muskies activity but i did actually find a a scientific paper that was written by two uh, two scientists uh, two biologists i believe that worked for the EPA and they analyzed 341,000 musky catches, which is just a huge number of uh, a, a huge sample size. You know, pretty big for any scientific uh, scientific report. So um, 341,000 musky catches. And th- what they saw was that during um, the 29-day lunar cycle, there were more fish caught during the uh, full and new moon than at any other times and they were seeing that you people were catching more fish during the peak lunar times of the day and so this data was collected from wisconsin um, all across the state of wisconsin and a couple of the big lakes up in minnesota and so what they found was that there was um, really a, a not much of a difference between all all across the different environments However, there was a stronger effect for larger fish, and uh, it was stronger in midsummer than in, uh, like, say, June or past October. And um, it was also stronger, the effect was also stronger at um, fish caught in higher latitudes, like above 48 degrees north, than uh, fish that were caught below that line in, in the south. 
And uh, another interesting thing is there was no difference between the lunar effect between uh, expert and novice musky anglers. So this uh, adds adds support to saying that um, the variation is the increased percentage of muskies caught during the peak lunar times is due to uh, biological factors and not just due to people, uh, you know, these expert musky anglers just being better at fishing. So this study definitely adds some support and some reason behind following the lunar cycles and and positioning your fishing around the peaks of that lunar cycle and so like i said you know i've noticed this somewhat um, in my musky fishing and i know if you go online a lot of the support around this theory is from fishing guides who have fished a ton and who track their catches and find that hey you know these these uh times that we're catching fish are lining up with the lunar cycle And so that's where a lot of the support comes from. And like I said, you know, I've noticed it some, but somebody who's noticed it a lot more than me and catches a lot more muskies than me is Brandon. And so I want to bring him in to chat about this and uh, maybe give us some more support um, to why you should start checking out these lunar cycles and start following it a little more. Hey, so basically I focus mainly on moonrise and moonset. Um, I don't really get much into uh, the majors and the minors. Um, You know, I've had a little bit of luck during those times, but primarily I focus mainly on uh, moonrise for whatever reason. That seems to be the best for me. Um, Last year, going through photos and checking timestamps and (laughs) just kind of going through all my catches last year, I noticed quite a few trends. I'd say roughly 80% of the muskies over 40 inches I caught last year were caught within 20 minutes of either a moonrise or a moonset. Now, granted, that doesn't mean that you can that you can't go out any time of the day and have a chance. It also doesn't mean that if you're fishing right at moon, you're guaranteed a fish. However it does seem to up your chances, Um, especially if you're looking for a big fish. I personally have not run into many of those, you know, 33, 34 inches at moon. It's usually a pretty nice sized fish. I go to this website called timeanddate.com and I put in my location and it shows you moonrise, moon set all the information for meridian passing for the entire month basically when i'm looking at this obviously you find the day usually i look for times when it's going to match up with either evening or sunrise you know within an hour or two of uh, sunrise or sunset because you know, usually that's a feeding window of its own but if you throw moonrise in there You know, it just kind of ups your chances, gets those fish a little bit more fired up. I was actually really bummed that I was not able to get out this weekend and fish the new moon or the uh, full moon. I know a couple guys that did and had some luck, but personally, I've been out to my neck with all sorts of things. I haven't been out fishing in probably a good week or so. During that time, I've definitely been uh, reminiscing on last year. So just a couple of examples of times this paid off for me. Last year, I caught a 44, seven minutes away from moonrise, only fish all day. I caught a 48, 20 minutes before moonset, I believe it was, only musky all day. That was in, I believe that was October. So I know Ben had mentioned in that article about moon making more of a difference during the summer than in the fall but i mean it can definitely still make a difference in the fall and my hypothesis would be that you know they say you know i came across that it didn't make as big of a difference because fish usually become more active in the fall they're eating more throughout the day and they're not as limited to those feeding windows just as many fish are probably being caught in those moon phases but there was more fish also being caught 
outside of those moon phases than usual. So yeah, that's just a little, you know, dive into it. You know, as I mentioned, I haven't really been able to get out fishing uh, this past week or so, but finally caught up on some things. I should be able to get out. Looks like I might try and sneak out Wednesday morning before work. Looks like we've got moon set at 820. So I will be out there, expect pictures. All right, so I'll be expecting pictures now. I'm going to hold them to that. So just to kind of wrap things up and bring things back into perspective here, like Brandon said, he uses timeanddate.com. And like he mentioned, you have to put in your location because obviously the earth is, is not flat, as some people might want you to believe. The earth is round. And so, you know, the, the moon moves around the earth at different times a day. So it's important to put in your location and not just follow a basic chart because that, those times do change uh, depending on where you're at. And just another thing I wanted to mention about what Brandon said is that all these fish that he's talking about, all these big fish he's caught, these were all river fish. So if you hear people saying, you know, all, oh, you know, a river fish is, is uh, you know, they're more opportunistic and they'll hit whatever that goes in front of them and their their activity is going to be the same throughout the entire day that you know is is not what a lot of musky anglers have found that that mainly fish rivers it, it doesn't really make a difference between lakes and rivers and the lunar cycle uh, increases your chances no matter where you're fishing so so that's just something else to remember and just to reiterate this i know brandon kind of mentioned this but even if it's a 5% increase, which, you know, it, it varies. So during the summer, it could be a higher, you never know um, what kind of percentage you could be looking at um, by fishing the lunar cycle. It doesn't matter when it comes to musky fishing. Muskies, as we all know, are not easy fish to catch. No matter how good you think you are at musky fishing, you're going to run into slumps and you're going to run into frustrations. And that's just musky fishing. And any increase in, in the probability of, that you're going to catch a fish makes a difference and you're going to want to take that chance and I guarantee if you take the chance on fishing and moving your fishing around uh, good moon cycles you're going to see an increase in catching in, in your catches. And then uh, another thing I wanted to mention is, is something that a lot of anglers do. If you're a fisherman that, that does a lot of trips and um, you want to, you know, have, give yourself a good chance while you're on a trip, you might want to center your trip around a good moon phase. You know, like certain weeks are, are better. Um, say you have a full moon, the three days on either side of that full moon are going to be good, uh, good times for fishing. So a lot of anglers will center their trips around a full moon. But the other thing uh, to add with that is if you're fishing really popular lakes like uh, like Mille Lacs or, or Lake Vermilion in, up in Minnesota, um, those weeks could become super pressured, heavy weeks. And so sometimes, you know, it might be better to, uh, you know, go the week after and just, um, just fish hard and you never know. But... But that's just another idea that a lot of that a lot of anglers do, and and something I found interesting. So before we uh, wrap things up here today, I just wanted to give Brandon one more chance to convince the uh, the haters out there that this that fishing the moon phase is something that will change your fishing and will increase your catch probability. So here comes Brandon with one more story to to convince the haters. So last year, I was out on the boat on the stretch of river with one of my friends. Um, we started off bright and early in the morning, fished in the boat until about noon, hopped out on the shore and uh, fished that for a while. And right at moonset on the dot, I had one fish come in hot and swipe on the bait. Within the next five minutes, I had two more fish come in hot and swipe at the bait. And remind, just keep in mind, this is at like 12.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Not ideal time. And then five minutes after that, nothing. We fished into the evening without seeing another fish. All three of those fish moved within five minutes of that move phase. 
So, I mean, it's just something to think about, you know? Noon, 1 o'clock, not really the best time of the day, best time of the day to fish. And yet, that's when moon was. That's the only time we saw fish that day. So, that's a pretty unbelievable story. But, and some of you might say, oh, that's just a coincidence. But three fish at right on the minute. That's, uh, you know, that's, that's something. And once... Once you kind of pay attention to this and you start noticing these quote unquote coincidences over and over again, that's when something begins to become a pattern and, and, uh, you know, you add more evidence to saying, okay, this, this is something that I can bank on. And this is something that, that I'm going to start, uh, start practicing in my fishing. So, so like I said, at the top of the episode, there's not a ton of real hard scientific data that I can find that to support fishing around a moon phase. But if you talk to any fishing guide, any musky fishing guide, they're going to, they're going to tell you that moon phase makes a difference. And anyone that fishes muskies a lot, like Brandon is going to have stories of, of fish activity, just spiking at moon phase and they're fishing improving from using the moon cycles and the, and the lunar cycles and the moon charts. So give it a shot. Definitely you have nothing to lose and you have everything to gain. In musky fishing, you want to take any increase you can in your probability of catching a fish, and this will definitely increase your chances. No matter where you are, I guarantee if you start trying this, you're going to start catching more fish. So don't be a hater and just keep an open mind like I did and maybe your mind will change and if you're already somebody that follows the moon cycles and the lunar cycles then you know what we're talking about and hopefully you learned a little something so tight lines everybody I hope you get out fishing next week and we'll we'll catch you back here next Tuesday on the old style angling podcast